Safety. Uh, I'm Vice Chair of London Young Labour and I was elected yesterday as Chair of Harry CLP to build our movement and to put a truly anti-imperialist leader into the houses of number 10 right behind us. And comrades, we're in an opportunity now to do exactly that. The most racist, the most anti-racist, the most anti-imperialist, the most internationalist, the most socialist, the most progressive leader that our party, the Labour Party, has ever had could be sitting in number 10 when a general election, and we never know when it may come, when it comes, we'll be there to fight it. And this issue, this issue that we've got right now, is so, so important to fight against. And we can see the media, the media are present, the media are silent, the media are pandering the lines of Donald Trump and of Jeremy Hunt and indeed of Boris Johnson, who, as we know, has been supporting the arms sales to Saudi Arabia, which we have now found out are illegal. And that's why Jeremy today was so strongly urging Theresa May to stand up for some integrity and values and to stop selling arms to Saudi Arabia and to really start doing what our country needs to do and that is de-escalating tensions and if you look back over the last 30 years and I say Jeremy Corbyn has been on the right side of history for the last 30, 40 years to try and de-escalate tensions they are calling him an apologist for the Iranian regime and we know how bonkers that is because he was the one who was standing there in 2003, not too far from here in Trafalgar Square, saying that if, if we go to war with Iraq, it will wreak misery, it will wreak devastation, and it will wreak destruction. He was not an apologist for Saddam Hussein. And we know why he wasn't an apologist for Saddam Hussein, because he was out there in 1991, when Saddam was gassing the Kurds, and he was the first man to say that this is wrong and we should not be standing up for this. And yet they try and smear him as an apologist for another regime when he says, no, we should not be going to war. And that's why it's so important to have that fine policy detail and to get the facts right. Because this government, our government and our next government is not doing that. They're going headlong for war in hock with Donald Trump and John Bolton and Mike Pompeo. And what Trump has done is put the heart, that hard right, hawkish, thought at the heart of his administration and that's why I'm so proud so proud to have a leader like Jeremy Corbyn who could be on their way to number 10 and comrades it's up to us to make that happen so if you're not a member already please do join the Labour Party please get involved in your local campaigns because what Jeremy has been saying not only on this issue but on so many others is exactly what our country is crying out for so thank you for coming today to show your solidarity to say that don't attack, attack Iran, we cannot stand for this. Our brothers, our sisters, our mothers, our fathers, our grandparents cannot afford another war. It is immoral, it is unjust, and it is unfair. And we must stand up for that as we are doing today. So thank you very much for coming out. Solidarity.